Hello farmers and welcome back to American Falls. Getting back into the grass field, I was fertilizing this and then the fertilizer shut off in the upper part, well actually the lower part of the field. And I was like, why would it do that? Then it hit me. Um, soil sampling is out of date, so I need to go <laughs> fix that. Currently Franco is plowing the field number 30, which is behind the spinnery. That contract there, so I think he's maybe about halfway done at this point. Uh, he is where he is anyway, so he's going to get that done. Uh, the rain is here, which is fine because I'm not really doing anything that uh, is going to... You know, the rain can't stop what I, I need to be doing anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but I was kind of hoping to be by the evening hours by now before I started recording. But since I got to do soil sampling, I figured, well, let's, go, let's bring you guys in. And uh, we'll get that done. It's only going to take me a second anyways. As we know, the soil sampler cover, covers a big area. I think two samples will be good enough. But maybe I should just do the whole grass field just to get it all in the same sequence. Because it won't cost me that much. I think it's $150 per sample. So spin around and get right up to here. And then uh, once we get this done, we'll fast forward. I'm kind of hoping if I do, if Franco is not done with the contract for plowing the field, I'm kind of hoping by fast forwarding to the next month that the farmer that owns that field is not going to just do something to that field and the plowing contract will become void. Don't know if that's a thing or not, but uh, yeah, Franco's not done. We're going to skip through the rest of the month anyways because I don't want to wait around too long. But who knows? Maybe he'll be done by then. Alright, and then get this sample here. Oh yeah, I gotta detach the fertilizer spreader because conflicting controls will not allow me to send the soil samples off. There we go. They're off to be analyzed. Uh, let me get on the soil sampler. Fold that up. And $900 for the sample. So that's not too bad. That I can live with. And it's something that needs to be done anyways. Alright, let's grab the spreader. And now I can continue fertilizing the fields. I feel like I just soil sample that part of the grass field, but apparently not. Alright, this section I haven't gotten to yet, but let's get this section done before I forget about it. We will be selling some pigs here very shortly. I'm sure their health is going to be up near 100% by the time the end of the month gets here. All right, there's that. And yeah, we do have some over-fertilization on this grass field from when I was fertilizing the previous grass field, I was always lending some fertilizer to my neighboring farmers. All right, this, uh, this looks kind of weird up here now. Let's go ahead and fix this so it's all nice. And I guess orange is the color we want for grass. Grass does not require that much fertilizer. Franco is charging me quite a bit for working per hour. But overall, we'll make good money on that contract anyways, which I think is 13000 somewhere in that vicinity. Oh, it looks like the rain should be stopping. I see the forecast now just shows the sun. It takes a moment for the rain to actually disappear. Kind of glad in real life today that the weather where I live was perfect. Uh, because today for me was the solar eclipse and if you want to see some pictures I did post them on discord where I live we got about 99% coverage of the moon over the sun so it was uh, pretty cool to see I didn't burn up my retinas from looking at the sun so we're all set there Alright, there's that section. And now this section here. 
All right, we're all set. The grass field's all set to be mowed in August, September, or October. October, when I'll be mowing the grass next. All right, let's bring this soil sampler back to the farm and everything else. Actually, let's speed up some time as well. We're going to go right to the evening hours, just about. And fingers crossed the pig's health will be up high enough. You know, even if it's not fully 100%, it might be like at 95 to 100%. We'll probably sell them anyways. They probably could use some straw as well for bedding. So, since we're in the vulture, we'll drop off the soil sampler and give them some straw. How we doing on fertilizer? Eh, I'm about half full. So I'm not going to bother refilling. I'm going to try to not spend any money until I can purchase the next production building. So we can start making uh, some products and get full advantage of the fuel refinery. Not fuel, fuel refinery. Uh, crude oil production that we put down. We will be making diesel fuel out of it, <laughs> but not until we get the other building down. Make sure I'm on the right implement. That should be the soil sampler. Perfect. Uh, do the pigs need straw? I don't want to bring it in there. I can't remember exactly when I last gave them straw. Um, they need food. I know that. <laughs> uh, okay, let's just reset. That was kind of weird. Uh, but yes, they do need some straw as well. So, I'm going to try to grab three bales here. It is straw. So, it's not going to be too heavy. Uh, let's see. The grain trailer is over at the combine by the canola field. So, we'll bring that back and we'll get a whole bunch of corn and feed the pigs. Luckily, my pigs are well trained. They're not going to go anywhere. Now, open that gate there. Let's try not to run over any pigs. Alright, it should take all the straw that they need. Five o'clock in the evening, so I should start slowing down some time. Although it's July, so it should be, you know, daylight until like 7.38 for sure. And the money is going up from the BGA. Not much left in there, I'm sure, either. Uh, let's see. Yep, the fence is on the grain trailer. Let's go ahead and slow down time here. Don't want to be working in, in the darkness. Canola field, I think, will be ready next month. So we're getting ready for that harvest. Uh, that will be fed to the pigs as well. And once I see how much canola we got and kind of get a rough idea of how much the pigs are going to use, I may take some of the wheat that we have in storage and bring that down to the grain mill so we can go ahead and make some flour. I did see today that there was a uh, pig food mixer that came up on the Mod Hub. I had a quick look at it and then saw the price of the facility. It was near like half a million dollars. So I was like, no, nah, I think I'll have to pass on that. I <laughs> think we'll have to pass on that for now. Uh, I did not really see the ratio of food. Yeah, the grain, they got 7,000 corn. They're just about out of. And as I found out last time, when the pigs ran out of corn and they still had wheat, they helped tank down to zero, and we're still recovering from that. So let's go ahead and make sure we give... That's going to be more than enough. I think the feed trough only holds 40,000, so... I may have covered up the trigger area for dropping off the corn with the straw bales. But I'm sure if I back in here, it should register somewhere. There we go. And they can just take all that they can take. Let's see, while that's unloading, how is Franco getting along on that contract? 82% uh, done. 
I may wait for him to get done. I don't want to go through the night and then the farmer plant crop in the field or something. And then the plowing contract is void. I don't know how long you can keep a contract before it disappears. Right, this can all go back into the silo. Yeah, after we harvest corn this year, we're going to have so much corn for the pigs. You know, maximum one field of corn for next season. And then we'll just go from there. Oh, oh okay, you got to leave the tractor running while it's unloading. All right. Kind of in a hurry to get back over to the pigs and sell them on up. 83% done in field number 30. Yeah, let's go ahead and close the gates first. Gotta wait for one to close before you can close the other one. Alright, let's just get to the top of the hour there. There we go. Don't know why, but this feels better being at the top of the hour. Alright, so here we go. $700 for these pigs right here. And just one of them. Okay. Uh, there's another one for 700 and there's three of those. I think $700 is the max price that we're seeing. Oh, I didn't check. Is there health? What's their health at? Uh, health is at 100%. So we're, yeah, we're, we're fine. Uh, we're getting the best price that we possibly can. Now these are 700 And not to work, I'm sure we have pigs ready to have some offspring. And we'll probably fill it on the pen back, right back up. Uh, can I get more than... Oh, how many were here in this set? Alright, six. Oh wow, a whole bunch of pigs right there. And... seven. I think $700 is what we're looking for only. I think that's the best price we're going to get for them. Just keep on. I think we're down at the end of the list. Um, yeah, so I really don't care if they're male or female. We got enough females in here. And they're going to have plenty of offspring per each when they do. So don't need to be too precise about it. So I think we sold 29 pigs. They got us up to, well, 54,000. Not too bad. Uh, let's teleport over to the sheep slash goat pen. Because I really haven't been keeping track of them too much. Of what's going on here. Uh, the wool is piling up. We will have some milk. Yeah, not a whole lot, but there is milk in here. Is it the trigger here now? It is. Yeah, we're only 87 out of 300 over here. So we got a ways to go on this pen before we start selling any animals out of here. But in the meantime, the goats will go ahead and make milk. And the sheep, of course, will go ahead and keep on making the wool. And for now, we're just selling the wool as is. We're not buying the spinnery or anything like that. Uh, what is the status since we're over here in case you guys need something? But I think I took care of you not long ago. Um, 11000 per month. Yeah, so you're good for about four months right now uh, until you start reproducing more and then you go through more. And the cows, we know we gave them all the straw. Not long ago, and we just gave them a whole bunch of hay as well. And they're good for quite a while. Well, we're going to let Franco do his thing. Hopefully the contract doesn't get uh, voided overnight. But we're going to go ahead and... Oh, before we go to bed, do I want... I, I shouldn't be doing this. Uh, a T7 and a potato harvester. Uh, don't really need neither. So let's go ahead and... I think we're all set. Uh, we'll sleep until 6. Just to check on some contracts and see if Franco is still plowing along in field number 30. I shouldn't need to lease anything or or, or anything of that nature. Uh, so the store paid. We got a roller and I think they really want me to do root crop harvesting. But this is, is this the modded one? No, this is not the modded one. So, I mean, that's what I got to be careful about because... Uh, I need the modded one, which is, I think it's actually the same uh, description, SL80-22 Quantum. 
Okay, okay this, will, this will actually say auto belt quantum. And that one does not. So yeah, we, we need the auto belt one. Uh, that would be good for... Well, am I really going to need that? Because I may not be doing the grass silage over at the BGA. I mean, I may be cutting the grass uh, in October and doing it. But yeah, but either way, don't really need it right now. Uh, let's get back on track of what I was trying to do. Looks like uh, Franco is still being able to plow. 93% done. Is our canola field ready for harvest? I see a lot of fields ready for harvest. Yes, our canola field is ready. Of course, we got our corn fields over here. They are not ready. They won't be until uh, later on. So, oh, and our sorghum field is ready as well. Perfect. All that sorghum's going down to the grain mill to be processed. But let's go ahead and get the sun. Let's call the sun and wake the sun up. We'll do a little bit of a morning harvest here. There we go. 7 o'clock in the morning. Sounds good. All right. Let's bring the grain trailer over because the combine's over at the canola field. And then later on in the day, we can do the sorghum. So currently 57000 in the bank account. Uh, once Franco gets done, uh, we should be up to around 70000 in the bank account. So almost halfway there for the other production building, which is great. Yeah, I really want to get that up and going so we can really start making that material. Um, I have a I have an end of the year dream of having no loan at the end of the year. I we might still have the loan there because that's two hundred forty thousand. It's not a whole lot, but for this farm, that's going to be quite a bit because I'm really going to try to cut back on doing uh, contracts. Probably just do fertilizing contracts in the future. Uh, for re for at least the rest of this year, and maybe that'll be it. Who knows? But then again, I'm also talking about maybe next year being the last year here for us at American Falls. It's a ways off. But we have been here for a while. Oh, watch out for the crop. I think we have gotten the farm for the community in a good spot. All right, put that down. And I don't think we get a swath of canola on this map. No, we don't. Okay. Just want to be sure about that. I don't think either map I'm playing on, I can get a uh, straw off of canola. So yes, all this canola is going to go into the silo, and we'll feed it to the pigs. Actually, I probably uh, should check on the pigs today, see if any pigs got up uh, higher in price. I am kind of curious. So we had uh, we were shy twenty nine pigs in the pen. We sold twenty nine, and how many did we get overnight? Oh, I can't tell from here. I got to go to the trigger. I always get that backwards. So we'll check on it once we get this uh, field harvested, which won't take me too long. And by then, Franco should be done plowing up field number 30. Then we'll collect on that. And yeah, the field's going to be in the best condition that it pretty much can be. Don't really know how much we're going to get off this field, but I'm kind of hoping for like 40,000. Although that might be a little bit too much now looking at it. But uh, we'll find out when we get near the end. But nothing like an early morning August harvest to make you want to listen to some music and get the job done. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up and we just sing along and I can't help but feeling just loving.
put your favorite song on just to wake you up when i dance around i can't help but feeling just loving this moment can we stay here forever i'm loving this moment can we stay here together if i could stop the time don't you know that So I've collected on the contract in field number 30 that Franco has finished. And when I was collecting that, I saw, and you may have seen it too in the time lapse, depending how fast it went. It's hard to resist, but there's another plowing contract in field number 42 for like 20 grand. Since I don't need the Landini for anything today, at least I don't think so, and we're trying to get up to that 150,000 to buy the next production building. I think I will send a worker down there and start plowing that up. And that will probably be my last plowing contract that we do. Uh, because I'll get us up, you know, near near 90,000, I would uh, assume at that point. And then, because we're at harvest season, I think next month is the beginning of fall planting. And that is when we can start getting some fertilizing contracts and hopefully... Uh, we get enough then. So if I can get down the next production building, like in October, maybe, you know, or, you know, no later than October, that'll give me like three months for that production building to make product and then sell enough. We're shooting for like a quarter of a million dollars, which I think is probably more than what that's going to produce uh, because that'll finish off the loan. Like I said, that's kind of a dream scenario of uh, paying off the loan at the end of the season. I don't think we'll get there, but you never know. I've surprised myself a few times, or the or at least the pricing has surprised me a few times on a couple of Let's Plays that I've done, and uh, the money's coming a lot faster than I thought. I did pretty well in this field this time, harvesting it. Uh, just got this little bit of row of shame right here, and that's it. So as long as I utilize the perfect width of the header, we are all set. And I also think because I was shooting for 40,000 yeah, 40, 40, liters of canola off this field. I think we're going to exceed that. The trailer looked kind of full last time I unloaded into it. And that holds 43,000. And here I'm coming up with 13,000 liters. And I think that's probably going to maybe fill it up. We'll find out in a moment because we're going to go ahead and if it's still there. Yeah. Actually, it's $28,000 for plowing that, that field. Uh, yep, we'll accept that. There we go. And let's go jump over into the uh, Landini. Uh, it could use some fuel. So we'll fuel up. 42 should be this weird field down here. It is. I don't want to say a weird field. It's just that way because of the shape of it. Other than that, it's perfectly normal. So we got to take the road that goes under the overpass. There goes the train again. Actually, you know what? Since the train just went through, and I know we're good, we'll just cut right across here. And this is our field right here. Yeah, September, we got to start thinking about uh, what field I want to put some, some wheat into. Let's just drive through here and fuel up. Now in October, we should have some butter and cheese. Won't have a whole lot, but we should have some uh, that we will be able to sell. Got to start thinking of some of the production buildings that we do have going now and when to sell some things. 
One thing I am noticing since I've updated American Falls, when Lanty Boy updated it a few weeks ago now at this point, if you remember, I was getting a lot of fields that were withered all the time, and I don't seem to see that anymore. Uh, let's go ahead and create job. Yeah, that's good. And then course play is going to take a moment to figure this one out. Uh, generate course. Yeah, so I don't see the winter fields anymore. So I don't know if it was something with my save game before. Because we are on a new save game, even though the series continued. I just converted a lot of files over. But yeah, no more withered fields, which was kind of weird. Uh, also, I still don't see uh, deer running around, do we? We just see the birds. So yeah, the deer are gone on here in American Falls. Yeah, course play does not like this field at all because of the runoffs that we got here. So it takes a while to generate the course because it is a lot of weird stuff to get this whole field done. That took quite a while. Uh, probably won't take the worker as long to get the field done as it took to figure out the course. Okay, maybe not like that, but... All right, Francine, you're in charge. Uh, so that's the course it's got to do. It's going to take a while, uh, but I'm not doing it and we'll get paid 28000 for it. Uh, let's come over to here. Is the combine empty? No, it's not, which is fine. So we'll fold that on up. So yeah, we definitely got more than 40,000 liters worth. Oh, sorry. Yep, just never mind me. I'm so used to this crossing here all the time. I need a sign right here. It says uh, tractors cross, tractor crossing or something. Something right there. I, I don't know. I mean, they need to be aware. How can you miss a Fent 1000 crossing the road? Uh, the manure is about set to go over to the BGA as well. But I think we'll move that over after harvest time. Alright, so while you're emptying in there, we're going to come back over to here. We'll get the combine, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and unfold the header. And I'm just going to unload right from the combine into the silo. I will check for traffic. Uh, I could use some fuel in the combine. I wonder if there's any... Do I have any fuel left in here? I do. Alright, so while that's uh, filling up with fuel... And I get stuck on the fuel container. Let's <laughs> teleport over to here. Uh, let's just go ahead and make sure all the straw bales are put aside. Uh, let's see here. So we are back up to 200 pigs. So even though we sold 29 last night, we're right back up to a full pen. Uh, let's see what we got. Is uh, I'm pretty sure their health is at 100%. Is I mean, it should be nothing but. Yeah, 100%. Uh, do we have any pigs worth $700 today? 701 well you get sold 10 of you 10 of you would get sold that's fine by me and yeah we can see some newborns ten dollars fifteen dollars uh we'll just have to keep them until they get fattened up a little bit from eating all the corn and grain that we put in and now we got a full fuel container of diesel can I do it? yeah we got plenty of room dump that into there and we are all set to get a sorghum harvest up and going So, sorghum, no straw from that. Drop off the header. And, yeah, we'll get around that corner there. Fold the header back in. 
And actually, I'll lower the header down to the ground just to take the weight off the combine a little bit. So that's all set. Uh, slurry, how are we doing on slurry? We got 25,000 liters of slurry in the pigs and the cows got 40,000. So let's go ahead. I'm going to drop off the trailer here for a while. And now we'll get back to using the tanker for slurry only. Yeah, I'm going to have to buy a tanker for milk. Uh, the dolly is not here. The dolly is on the low, uh, low loader which is over at the cow farm. I keep thinking, oh yeah, we're pretty much done buying things. And it's like, yeah, I probably should get a truck down the road. Although having these, uh, t the tanker and the, and the low loader on the farm, just having to use a dolly has been great. Has saved us quite a bit. And for only, what, 9000 I think we bought the dolly for? Definitely worth it, but... It'll be just be more convenient to, in the future, have a truck to hook up to these trailers. Plus, we're going to have more tankers. So, always trying to figure out where the dolly is and what trailer it's on and go getting it. Be easier to just have a truck. So I do believe the pigs are making us uh, a decent amount of money. I know when we did East Violin, uh, we really weren't making the money with it. Am I not in the trigger for the slurry? There we go. But at least with the enhanced animal mod, and the pigs reproduce more than than one per. I think we're, we're better off this way. Uh, I think the Enhanced Animal Mod has helped us out quite a bit with the animal productions. And it's been kind of fun getting back into, you know, usually I just have sheep, chickens, and cows and kind of stick with that trio there. Having pigs is, uh, you know, different, at least for me. amount of slurry the cows have over here I think we'll have just about a full tanker fill it on up and somebody did mention, and I kind of knew the door was here, but then forgot about it. But there's a door here, and this is probably the door I'll have to use to fill up with manure. Although, uh, with my setup, I'll probably have to back in all the way to get to the trigger. I mean, the manure isn't that bad. It's it's more of a, you know, feeding the hay with the low loader in a truck. That's probably not going to work. We'll have to come up with a different setup for giving them the hay. Uh, well, we almost got ourselves a full tanker. 98%. Well, let's get this over to the BGA to be processed. Let's go ahead and turn the beacons on. Yeah, so 28 gram for that plowing contract. That will put us... I do have the brakes on, but the tanker is pushing me. Uh, yeah, that'll put us over 100 grand. And I just want to double check when I get over here. I think that production building is 150. We're not going to go with the largest one. We're not going to go with the smallest one. We're going to go with a medium sized one. And I really don't know how fast it's going to produce all this material. And when the best time to sell the material is. But it would be really great by the end of this winter to have like the loan paid off and then uh, when money comes in i can just think about you know upgrading or trading in all the used stuff that we bought and still buying some equipment that we need 
So when I leave American Falls, the community is in good shape for continuing farming without having to think, oh, we need to lease this, we need to buy that. Still kind of funny with the FET 1000 that we're in. I was very close to buying a FET 900 series. And we almost had enough money to buy the 900 and the 1000 came up for sale. If I do trade this one in, I'm going to have to get a tractor with about the same amount of horsepower. Because now having it on the farm and getting used to having it on the farm. Downsizing may not be the best thing to do because then you'll miss having that extra horsepower there to do certain jobs like moving a tanker around for instance just gotta make sure I activate the slurry And the manure will come back over in near the end of the month after harvest time. Let me just go ahead and make sure the slurry is activated at the BGA. Uh, silage, actually still got slurry left. I don't know if that was left in it or what I just put in now. We'll deactivate that. Uh, but slurry, yeah, the cows. It doesn't show the pigs, does it? No, the cows. Doesn't show the cows either. Um, so I, I can't really tell how much manure the cows have or the pigs have unless I go right over to the pen. But the BGA would be making us some money. As it has been for the past couple of seasons since we purchased it. Actually, I can go out this way. And Francine is busy plowing up field 42. Should be down there for a while, but, you know, we'll be busy as well. So work will be getting done at both ends of American Falls. But as I just said, when she gets done, that's 28 grand. That should e easily put us over $100,000 in the bank account. Oh, yeah, I was going to check. Let me just come to a stop because I don't want the tractor to keep on rolling. Uh, if I go to construction, production, scroll on down. And, yeah, this one right here for 150000 now, it does say not enough money, but don't, you know, that's that's true. Uh, wait, where are we here? No, got to go up this way. And, yeah, it will fit right here on the lot that we have. We will uh, get rid of the trees and probably paint the ground, repaint the texture of the ground. And uh, then once we get this place back in, I'll probably uh, buy some trees later on and decorate around here. I'm really not sure where the pickup point is and all that, but I can see I'd probably want to put it something like this. I can see gates, openings at one end and at the other end as well. But that will fit in very nicely here. So uh, let's see if I give myself a little bit. Actually, if I spin it around this way, yeah, that's the way I think I would want it. Something like that. And we got plenty of space here. That, that looks perfect, actually. Just have to get rid of all those trees and replant, and then uh, we'll decorate around here, make it look like a production area. But like I said, hopefully by October, we might be able to afford it. Just have to wait and see. But that's what we're going to wrap it up for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching, as always. And I'll catch you again right here in American Falls. But until then, have a good one.